Okay, everyone, welcome to Chasing the Kraken Fishing. Today I'm going to be doing a review of my Wilderness Systems Ride X 115, or is it Ride 115X? Either way. Um, so I'll give you a bit of a tour of the boat and we'll get started. Chasing the Kraken. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, so, welcome everyone. So, this is my review of the Wilderness Systems Ride 115X. Uh, been an excellent kayak. I bought this used last year and have used it for um, for the last little bit and have been really happy with it so i'm going to show it off to you so starting up at the front hopefully you can see all this uh, you have a permanent handle nice and solid i've got a little bit of bungee here i actually use it when i load it into my truck to take away some of the shock when i strap it in uh, this is your paddle retainer paddle keeper um, I'll get into this a little bit more once I get to that point. So for right now, let's just pop this paddle out. Uh, front hatch, really big front hatch. Um, when I first got it, it was a little stiff, but now with use, it's actually been really nice. And I put a little, I think maybe a little bit of silicone around there, but super nice, lots of room in there. I used to put my, uh, you can actually run your rods all the way through. I have uh, collapsible or uh, two-piece rods now, so I don't leave them in, in the boat, but this is a great spot for a dry bag or something, okay? And then once you're done, just lock her down and Bob's your uncle. So you could strap something on here if you're going for a long trip, uh, you have that option. Now it's got two of these nice long uh, track systems on the front. I've got my, um, my rod holder here for when I'm trolling and I have this guy here and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, so let's move on back. Oh, of course, obviously adjustable pedals. Uh, I am 5'11", and I have no problem in the, you know, this isn't even the longest setting, so I think you could easily be 6'4", and still be able to use this kayak quite comfortably, uh, and maybe beyond that, okay? Now, this center console is really cool. So basically, it's a fish finder. It is does says low rants ready. I've got a, a hummingbird a Piranha Max 4 in there right now, but uh, you could use a lower ends either way. Uh, you just have you just screw them to the top. Anyway, so this little ball retainer, so that unscrews. Uh, this guy pulls back enough, and then you can tilt the whole unit out. So battery is in here. There's just a little foam retainer, and I've got a little bit of tape to keep the wires going. And your transducer is actually right in the water, so you are, um, you know, you have excellent uh, coverage, excellent uh, contact with the water for your fishing. And I found that uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of a review on this at another date, but I found that having a fish finder has been a game changer for me. I thought I would only use it for depth, but I find it more and more that I use it to spot fish as well. So uh, yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit later. It's got handles on both sides, obviously. Now, a little further back, you have another hatch. This is a little bit smaller. Now there's no... Uh, you know, there's no retainer in here. So anything you put in there can go all the way to the front and back. So uh, you can always tie it down. They've got a little uh, retainer strap there. But very handy to have. If you ever have to put something, maybe put your lunch in there or, or a really small cooler, whatever you need, or your, your tackle. Um, now this deck foam I, I put in myself from Amazon. Uh, pretty easy to do, obviously. It's got these two little um, spots on the, on the side platform. For lures or for tools my only caution is i'd be a little careful with the lures i have had you know i've been leaning over to bring a fish in and i've caught myself on these things so you want to be a little careful there uh, now the seat is really good so seat is uh, adjustable so front and back the whole thing slides back and forth and you use this in the front to tighten it up so if you wanted to bring it forward just, and then you would just tighten this up Make sure it's nice and snug. Uh, seat folds back and forth. I've been on this thing for hours and hours, like an entire day of fishing, and um, you know I've got lower back issues, and it's been great. So no complaints there. Now it's got this little system with this with this strap. So if you want to keep it in this low position, uh, that's where you would hold it. If you wanted to put it in this position, so you can grab onto it, and you can see what it does. It actually tilts back. I don't know if that's really comfortable for anyone, but you know, it's an option if, if you wanted to, you know, relax, maybe have a little snooze on the lake, whatever you're up for, uh, you can put it in that position. I don't use it, but it is available to you. And then if you wanted to, you can grab it a little bit further back. So tilt it up and then the whole thing rises up. So you've got a ton of room underneath. You're quite a bit elevated. 
I don't paddle in this position, um, but if you wanted to fish and you wanted a little bit more height and you didn't want to stand, this is a really good spot for you. And then to get it back in, just grab it a little further into the straps and you're back down. So really comfortable seat. Around the back, you've got a bungee, which puts some stra uh, strain on this to keep the, uh, the tension going. Uh, you could put a backpack or something on the back there. I usually back here, I used to put my extra um, Plano boxes, maybe a, um, sometimes my net will go across there. You know, something like that. Um, it's pretty handy, lots of space there for, for your needs, depending on how far, of course, your seat is. Now this is your paddle clip, paddle retention. I find it, like with a normal size paddle, I've really got to struggle and I barely get it in. So I don't use this a whole lot, to be honest. If I was, you know, going to be in one spot for a long time, I would. But generally speaking, I find it a little bit tight. I can always adjust it, obviously. Um, moving back, you've got this whole bungee system. You've got two rails, one on each side. Uh, these solid mounts. This is great. I actually have a, uh, a fishing box here that I use. And then I have my, uh, my tackle box, my extra tackle right here. So pretty handy, lots of storage here, and obviously the scuppers. Now, one thing about the scuppers, unlike, uh, I used to have an Ascend kayak, unlike that, these things, uh, you only get a little bit of water in when you, know, when you get a wave or if you're really leaning in the back and you sit high enough that it drains right out. You don't need scupper plugs. Uh, don't worry about that at all. Uh, rear handle, obviously. Now, if you look here, hopefully you can see this on the video, it's got spots here for uh, to run cables, and that would be if you wanted to put in a, um, a rudder. Uh, I don't particularly need a rudder, so I've left that out, but it is, um, it is set up for that if you want. And then underneath, it's got this little protector cap. So basically, if you're dragging it across rocks and that wears down, you can always replace it. I would 3D print something if I really wanted to, or you can buy them, but that's to replace it in case uh, that gets worn out. All right, so now the paddle... Uh, paddle holder up here so if I actually catch a fair amount of my fish when I'm trolling so what I find really helpful is if I get a fish and I've got my paddle in my hand I just take it it's got this roller so you just slide the tip of your paddle underneath goes in nicely and sits there and it's not going anywhere um, it's actually retained really well now when I first got it I didn't have this so what sometimes would happen if you were sitting there and you're fighting to get a fish out trying to get the lure out eventually the paddle could actually slide out and then I've had to use my fishing rod to try and reach it, have to crawl forward to, to get it. Sometimes it's a pain. So what I did was I had another one of these kind of Scotty mounts and all I did was I put that in there. So now no matter what happens, this paddle is not going to, it's not just going to slide out on its own and it's not going to just slide to the side. So this has been a really good little add on, nothing fancy, but it does keep my uh, paddle from disappearing. Uh, just a note, so this paddle, uh, I might do a review on it later, but this came with the boat when I bought it used. Really excellent paddle, carbon fiber shaft, fiberglass on the ends. It's been amazing. It's super light. Um, it's the same size as my Ascend paddle, but half the weight. So really good and obviously adjustable between your different angles. All right, so that's it. That is my Wilderness Systems Ride 115X. Been an excellent kayak, super stable. I can stand. I can uh, obviously adjustable seat, um, very versatile, not too heavy. I load it myself into my truck and it only sticks out maybe three or four feet. So I actually just strap it into my bed and away I go. Put a little flag on the front and you're uh, and Bob's your uncle. All right, guys. So enjoy that and uh, keep fishing and uh, hope to see you out there. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.